arguably the best game of this super wild card weekend is the Chargers versus Jaguars game as it has the lowest spread out of any of the games and it features two of the best rising stars at the quarterback position. Listed below are their stats for the year, and as you could probably tell, it's very close between the two. They both are about top 10 in all of these stats. There is a slight advantage for Justin Herbert, but when I say slight, I really do mean slight. And I think it kind of undersells, though, just how good he's been on the year, because it doesn't contextualize for the fact that Keenan Allen and Mike Williams missed a large chunk of the year. In addition to that, I don't want to come across as hating towards Lawrence, but I think it's important to realize that this is the best we've seen Lawrence so far, and this is maybe the worst we've seen Herbert so far in his three years. So I think if we were going to bet on what their performance for the next game will be, I would feel more confident in saying that Herbert is going to be better than he's looked, and I'd feel confident in saying this is about as good as Lawrence is going to look, at least for this year. So with all that said, I do feel slightly more confident in Justin Herbert than I do Trevor Lawrence, but it's not like that is the end of the discussion. When evaluating games, the next thing I look at after quarterbacks is Where are the mismatches, and just how intense are they? And I think the biggest mismatch in this game, and this is contingent on Mike Williams playing, but I think it's between the Chargers receivers and the Jaguars' pass defense. Per Football Outsider's defensive value over average, the Jaguars ranked 30th in pass DVOA, being ranked 20% worse than the average coverage unit. More specifically, there will be times where Mike Williams will be matched up against Darius Williams, and there's quite a bit of a discrepancy in the talent of these players, as Mike Williams, the receiver, had a 79 PFF grade, which is very good, and Darius Williams had a 61 which is okay. And moreover, Mike Williams is 6'4", and Darius Williams is 5'9". That might not be the biggest issue if the play styles didn't also accentuate that, as Mike Williams really does love to go up and get a 50-50 ball, which I'm going to trust him to do that on a guy that is that much shorter than he is. Another possible issue for the Jaguars is that Ken Allen loves to do his work in the short to intermediate part of the field, specifically the middle portion. And an issue for the Jaguars is Devin Lloyd ranks 72nd out of 76 linebackers in PFF coverage grade. So they can continually target the middle of the field where they want to target anyways, with Keenan Allen and Josh Palmer in the zone responsibility that Devin Lloyd will have. Of course, too, they also have Austin Eckler out of the backfield, so they'll be able to challenge the middle of the field in a bevy of ways, and I think that'll be a huge advantage for them. The reason this is such an interesting game, though, is the mismatches are not one-sided. There's issues for both teams, and... The biggest issue the Chargers will have, in my opinion, is Josh Allen being blocked by Trey Pipkins. Josh Allen is an elite edge rusher, and Trey Pipkins is a below-average pass protector as far as offensive tackles are concerned. So the Chargers like to hold on to the ball a fair bit when passing and they're really not going to have the time to do that as Josh Allen will be coming through pretty quickly. Another issue for the Chargers offensive line is that they're just not very good in general but particularly on the interior aside from Corey Lindsley who's an elite center 
they don't really have anybody you can feel too secure with, and that bodes very poorly for them as Arden Key, who you may not have heard of much during the season, has been a special edge rusher for the Jaguars that's played a lot on the interior for them as well. They scheme their defensive linemen so nicely with stunts, and they're going to get him matched up against Zion Johnson a lot, who has struggled a bit as a pass protector. So again, that's going to cut into the time that Justin Herbert's going to have to throw down the field. And lastly for the Jaguars, continuing their trend of the trench dominance, they have a just complete mismatch against the Chargers' rushing attack as Pro Football Focus ranks the Chargers as the worst run-blocking unit in the NFL. And that's going to be compounded by the fact that the Jaguars, despite having a lot of speed on their defense, have the 11th best run defense according to defensive value over average. So there's just a complete mismatch on the trenches for the Chargers. The only thing that works in the favor of the Chargers for the trenches is the fact that they should also be able to get some pressure on Trevor Lawrence as Joey Bosa still remains a premier edge rusher and so does Khalil Mack as well. And they'll be going against Walker Little and Jawan Taylor respectively. So they should be able to get some pressure on Lawrence, but I don't think it'll be as big of a deal as the Jaguars' pressure on Justin Herbert, as Trevor Lawrence gets rid of the ball the fifth fastest out of any quarterback in the NFL. And inversely, the Chargers are about average so in their time to throw, so they may have some issue in needing to speed up. But again, I think that having both of their receivers play assuming Mike Williams does, that will help them get rid of the ball a bit quicker because they'll get open faster. Again, I'll have listed a quick little overview on what the advantages for the teams will be. And just to summarize it, I think the Chargers have more notable advantages assuming Mike Williams is healthy. And I know you might be getting tired of hearing that, but I do really think he's going to sort of make or break this game as his size really does create some issue for the Jaguars as they could be having a mismatch of a guy that's a half a foot shorter than him. And they also will then not be able to sell out so much in stopping Keenan Allen and Josh Palmer over the short part of the field as Tyson Campbell is a really good defensive back. And I think he could shut down Keenan Allen if he were able to just focus on him. But considering he's six foot one, they would like to have him on Mike Williams more often just so they don't have that size discrepancy. And then at that point, Keenan Allen really will be a handful. Because I trust their quarterback more and because I think they'll have a bit more of a headache for the Jaguars to compensate for. Give me the Chargers over the Jaguars. Also, yeah, I realize they played already, and last time the Jaguars bludgeoned the Chargers, but I consider games in September to be kind of the preseason still.